Welcome to the crapper on a GSA. Uh, this is me going to be starting to strip the GSA down to um, fix the spots, indica T3 indicator lights, um, camera, and I thought I'd do a video. <coughs> Showing out how how I'm going to be stripping it, and uh, how I fit them all. We'll see if it all goes well. I don't. Um, I think I've watched a few videos, and I'm sure I could do something. So, what have I got going on? I've got a um, Inov K5 dash cam going on, and I've got the bracket that come that 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 connects here, so the camera sits here. Um, not perfect, but you have to get to the SD card and it's on it's on the actual front camera the K4 uh, 4k front camera unlike the what is it the K3 in of that it's it's in its module that sits under the seat so anyway so got that going on I've got um, Denali D4s coming here with a uh, bike things um especially especially made bracket so hopefully that's going to look good there i'm putting um I, i'm going to put t3 um indicator with running daylight I don't know, somewhere here, somewhere on the fork. I want it low down. And see how that goes. See how I can see what I can do with that. Um, sound bomb going on. What, what's what I'm going to be interested in? I may try and um, inquire. Because I've got the Hex Easy Can going on, I'm going to have two of them under the seat. And, one, and um, I've had the security alarm, BMW security alarm fitted. And I know, I know the alarm goes off and the washing machine. I know the alarm goes off, um, but it isn't that well for me. I'm bloody deaf as a deaf as a bat, but um, I'm wondering if I could <laughs> rig the sound bomb up somewhere, how somehow to go off as well, because I am going to link sound bomb onto the easy can i think i've got enough channels i've got a lot going on i'm going to use all eight i'm going to use eight channels four four channels on each easy can so we'll see how that goes but if anyone attempts to do it there's that blinking uh alarm okay fair enough but we know what everything um everyone ignores the basic alarm in the car. We drive past, walk past, throw stones at it. Um, so I'm going to see if if we can if there's something can be done. And obviously, with the the camcorder, the dash cam, that should come on as well. That should start recording when the bike gets. 
moved um, in parking mode so we'll see if something like that can happen at the back I'm going to put the um, I'm, 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 I'm going to put the rear camera which is 1080 not 4k let's push this forward a bit Um, that's where the GoPro comes in, I suppose. In the rear reflector, which um, Steve at a bike thing does. So I'm going to have a look at doing that. That'd be really bang on central. And... Uh, I think it'll look quite good and even from the back it won't be seen hardly you won't be able to notice it at the back but obviously you can be able to see it at the front um i've got the i'm having the uh, uh registration plate rear brake light and i'm <clears throat> I'm going to fit T freeze to each each uh, outside corner of my panniers, uh, just to get more have to be seen more. But obviously. Um, I'm not going to have the panniers on all the time. So, I want to put another pair of T-freeze somewhere. And I don't want them on either side of the number plate. So, I'm, I am thinking, see how, see how they are, to put them on the Zimmer frame for the panniers. On the, on the two sides here so quite a distance away and uh, from the indicators and and the uh, rear brake light Denali B6 brake light I think that's that's what I've got going on um, I, I think I've got a couple of other things Oh, I've got a Remusate exhaust going on. So, Remusate exhaust. Um, oh, just as well, I've got uh, Wonderlick. Wonderlick. Um, air intake guards oh and I've got the BMW emblem indicators and white running light I've done these these are the Evo tech and I sprayed them but I'm thinking of getting the bark busters that again a bike thing um are doing and he's got them powder coated black the metal frame and you can get the red plastic guards which i am going to have a look at at the ba um abr festival and uh, see what they look like because I'm, I'm i'm thinking i may get them and get rid of these but you never know i've got the wonderlick headlight guard which i've sprayed gold i'm i'm thinking about getting 
getting that re-sprayed because it's not exactly matching. The Givy, you know, I got I get the Wonderlick from Nippy Normans, another shop I use, outlet. Um, the Givy tinted. I think I I want a darker. <coughs> Excuse me, I want a darker darker one than that um, oh and I've got the SW SW Motec what is it Pro WP bag waterproof tank bag to go on um and I think that's that's it for now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually start stripping. I haven't stripped it completely. I, I, I've stripped quite. I've, I've stripped the back end. I haven't taken the tank off before. I've taken all this off. I've taken the bars off. I've taken the nose off. I haven't taken the tank off before, but I'm wishing, I think I'm going to do it this time. Because when I get all the, the cables through, <coughs> I think I'm going to, I want to all the shorters as possible. Because I've got two hex cams going in. I'm using two um, um, X cam. I'm I've got I'm gonna be <clears throat> shorter space so I'm thinking I have to do how Steve at, at the bike thing does it and cut the um uh the, the cables down to, to, to the right size and have it in a sleeve coming through underneath the tank up here I've got the Optimate 4 switch is going on, so I've got a lot of wiring to go on. And it all has to be minimal. So, I'm hoping this is going to go okay. Oh, uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to get started. So, let's start. <coughs> 